Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dwyer, and thank you for joining me for some SimCity 4. We are here in a very unusual map. It, this map is called Edgewater Bay, and those of you who have played the new SimCity will probably recognize that for good reason. People took the map from the SimCity 2013 and they put it in SimCity 4, and I thought, you know what? Why not use that to make another city that I've been thinking about creating? And no, I have not stopped my German and Dutch ones. That one is frustrating as frack due to the nature of the mods in that particular city. So while I'm figuring that out, let's go ahead and start a new one that will be a little bit less annoying. This one, for example, I've pretty much... I, I, I already know what where everything is going. This is a completely blank map to you guys, but to me, I see where I'm putting everything. I know what's going on over here. I know what's going to go on over here. I know exactly how I want this to look like. And this, on the other hand, I don't know. This one you guys get to vote on. What you want to see on this little island down here. Drop a message in the comments. That's the only way I will know. Now, as you can see from the terrain, we can see a lot of hills, right? We have like hilly areas here, hilly areas here, there, just everywhere, right? The terrain is not exactly the uh, most level in the world, which is why we are doing something that many of you are going to cringe. By the way, I gave myself 100 million in cash. Uh, yeah, you're gonna cringe. You're gonna cringe. Are you ready to cringe? Oh my god, you're already cringing. I can feel you out there. You're cringing. You're cringing already. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Stop screaming no at your monitor. Oh my god, I did it. You see what I did there? I'll use a Max's highway. Let's zoom in and look at that. Oh, isn't it, isn't it, isn't, isn't he gorgeous? Max's highway. I'm gonna say that again for all of you people who are cringing. That's a Max's highway. You see, real highway mod, it's an interesting one. It's great, as long as you're working on flat terrain. I don't want the hassle of dealing with this right now on this terrain. I just don't want to go there. I don't want to do it. So we're not. Simple as that, huh? I am using a variety of... Let's just go ahead and ruin the surprise. I am using things from a whole bunch of different websites, including Korean websites. Because part of the city that I'm thinking about creating is inspired from various uh, Asian cities. Uh, Seoul, Korea, for example, uh, have got some inspiration from there, some inspiration from Hong Kong. We're going to be using a few Japanese housing because low density... Sorry about the background noise, I have no idea what that is. Uh, yeah, housing? No idea. Korean, Chinese mods, they don't really have singular housing. Uh, Japan, Japanese mods are very good at that. But yeah, we've got some Korean buildings here. We're gonna have some Chinese buildings here. I'm not really using very much in the way of Japanese because we've already did that city. These are mainly just uh, Korean and you know buildings that you will find in Hong Kong or whatnot. But let's jump right in and finally get started. Enough talking already. All right, so here I'm thinking that I'm gonna have a little bit of a suburb or not a little bit of a sure if I want to use rural because you guys will freak out if it's not completely rural but I, I want a small housing development over here okay small little housing development and I'm thinking we're gonna have this little housing development all right and I figure while I'm going ahead and doing just you know some road things I you know go back in uh, time-lapse things so everything that I said is completely useless now yay but essentially the idea here is the upper right hand corner is probably gonna turn into a more forested area so I've got my little rounded curves there um, I also don't want to make a whole bunch of just nothing but straight roads you guys dislike that however I'm gonna make an effort not to go completely bonkers like I did in my uh, Dutch and German one so I'm not gonna repeat that mistake we are going to have some curved roads on uh, the edges and maybe some square and rectangular ones in the middle. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see how it goes. Let's we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, not not going crazy. I am adjusting a few things in terms of terrain. I didn't really want to do it, but you know, I didn't want you guys going crazy it, more than I have already making you with the whole Max's Highway thing. So I'm just straightening things out a little bit, just to make things a little bit less derpy as I'm creating it. I am going to go back with a slope mod and smooth these things out. So for now, I just don't want to put it off. I don't want to put off recording and getting an episode out there, so I hope you will forgive some of the rather abrupt angles as we're seeing again here with, uh, <laughs> yeah. And the graphics glitches, 
Uh, unfortunately, that is me using OBS to record. I'm able to record a lot more uh, if I use that. I guess I'll go back to using Fraps because Fraps does not pick that up, I don't think. So uh, it, it's unfortunate. It has to do with the fact that it tunes into the window overlay rather than uh, directly into DirectX. So that's the cause of that. I I'll, I'll get rid of all this stuff. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just more hard drive space. I'm getting a larger hard drive anyway, so it's all good. Now here I thought about doing a roundabout, uh, but it really doesn't actually go in directly to a uh, road, so I figure fine, screw it, I'll make my own roundabout using these little turn pieces. So there we go, got a little roundabout, and just like that, everything's going to connect all over the place, uh, making something a little bit less straight, realizing that really didn't make a whole lot of sense. So we're going to connect this up, and then we'll be good to go and put in some actual zones. Awesome. This is going to be a tiny little... I'm probably going to have to put this in manually, but I'm going to have it be a tiny little center of townish area. For our little, little, for our little guy. This little thing that we're creating. Way too much, way too much. Uh, as per usual, I am blocking the frack out of most of my, you know, the buildings, Max's buildings. Um, I think three is what I'm looking for. Yeah. I am blocking the crap out of that. This might be a bad thing, I don't really know. Now, we aren't just having this. We're gonna have something in the center of this too. But just to ensure that we leave enough room for everything, I'm going to go and do this, then I can take a look at what I've made and think to myself, alright, where can I put in another road? Like I see this, and I see this, and I think these are too long. So let's have something come down, let's have something to split this apart. Something will come down in here like so, one, two, three, that leaves a lot of extra room, but that's okay, this is, this is more of an out of the way kind of place. So that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. And then we will have a little bit of a turny turn. Um, one, two, three. Need a space? Nope, then one, two, three. Okay, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. See, we have that there. And it allows us to do something like this. And still have a little bit of space left behind. And something like this, and still have space here and here as well. But then we see this, and I'm thinking, maybe there's one there too. Maybe there's a happy little road. It comes down here, and connects on in. Something a bit like this. Now we need three spaces with a little bit of a thing there. So there we go. A little bit of a hangy bob, and that little bit of a hangy bob will go into there. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <sighs> it's okay, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, redo some of these, maybe on streamers. Oh god, streams! I meant to ask you guys. Uh, I'm giving serious thought to having one night a week where I stream something for a couple hours. What? I don't know, maybe it's up to you guys. Um, I'll have you vote on it or something. I don't know. But what I'm curious about from you is if I do have a set streaming date, would you, how many of you would actually watch? And what time would it have to be to get you to watch? I want, I also want those comments. I definitely want those comments. If I decide to start streaming regularly, either, you know, uh, you know, either your SimCity or your Rome, uh, whatever other games that I happen to have, what time would it have to be? And would you actually stop by? Do let me know. Do let me know. It's something I've been throwing around the back of my head. Right now I'm very informal about my streaming. I kind of do it, you know, Whenever, really. No specific time. 
but I'm kind of curious. In the back of my head, I mean, I'm really curious. It's like, would you guys actually show up? So yeah, let me know, let me know. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on that. Let's see, where was the thing? Oh, there it is. So we have the bullet train mod installed, which is what's going on here, though I didn't leave enough room for this. So this is, there we go. Can I get rid of that little hangy end? There we go, zoop zoop. Ah, close enough. And we'll have this go over here. And now they have no power. Okay, that's good. They didn't really need power anyway, did they? There we go, now they got power. I got the power. Now, we need you, believe it or not, to make over to that highway. Because sooner or later, sooner or later, we're going to be needing that. Now, I don't know if we're going to actually have these running all the way across, right? But I am going to make it so one of you, at the very least, connects right now. Um, now, because I'm using Max's Ground Highway, and just for a little refresher course, I can't just be like, Booyah! See? It doesn't work. What I need to do is I need to go into puzzle pieces and make myself a little ramp. So we go down to here, we go to overpass and perpendicular ramps, tab through until we get one that's not red, and kerplow. Easy as pie. And again, some of you are making disgusting noises at your monitor. Because one, we've got the, I don't know what you want to call this, um, roller coaster ride, I guess is what that can only be called, coupled with Maxis. So a lot of ugliness going on here. Now for now, we're just going to run this until our, okay, looks like we're dropping off and everything. They've got no jobs to speak of because I have not made the industrial area yet, so I'm going to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to plop down a place for them to work just for the moment. It'll spawn more residential and it's going to demand more industrial as well. So just for the sake of this episode, I'm going to put in a couple of things for them here. Can't do that, can't do that, and that would look really really weird if I had that there. So let's just do this. And let's turn this so you can see what it looks like. There we go. Little Nike store. Converse store. Pump. Uh, two Converse doesn't make any sense. Let's have something else there instead. There we go. And sure, why not? There we go. So we have a couple of stores lined up here. And these, I should point out, are from a Korean website. Now, I don't have a lot of these made, or a lot of these installed. The reason being, the website that you actually download these from you require, like, either a Korean social security number or a phone or something in order to fully register and download some of the mods. Because some of the mods, apparently, are restricted. Some of them anyone can download, some of them some people cannot download. So I have access to those who I have downloaded. Which brings me to another thing I want to know. If you're familiar with the website that I'm referring to, uh, what is it, SC4Labs, I think it is? I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. Was that, is that what it was called? It looks like it is. It looks like it is. And you have the ability to download more of these awesome Korean mods. And you're willing to send them to me. Feel free to drop me a message. I will send you an email where you can send them. Uh, you can upload them to Mediafire or Sunspace or wherever and shoot them over to me. I'll deeply appreciate you, and give you a shout-out on my next uh, video. Right now, I wasn't going to show this, but I figured, why not? Uh, down below is the city that we are currently working in. Up here is my industrial one, and as you can see, it's going to have access to both the highway, as well as the rail system. Uh, we've already got the lines all nicely set up. I'm not going to show too much of this city because it's going to be extremely boring to look at. All it's going to be is them having access to uh, on and off the mass transit to the places where I need them to work. And that's pretty much all the city is going to be. Uh, so both left and right, if you can envision this stretched out on both sides and up a bit, then cool. 
One thing I did want to show you this, though, is you can see how weirdly this map was created, right? I'm not sure which shows it off better. Probably this one here. Uh, but yeah, it was obviously created in a program and not by hand. And this is definitely a telltale. Whatever data they used to get the, uh, you know, the correct uh, data for the map from SimCity 2013, definitely, definitely had its edges. Definitely had its edges. It's very, very strange. Very, very strange indeed. But that's okay. Now let's go back to our city. Alright, so now we have left Omnicorp, and we are now back in our glorious city of... Nice. Uh, yes, 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 yes. And I know, Omnicorp. My SimCity XL people, or sorry, SimCity lol. Cities XL people will definitely catch the reference. He should build now, I think. No? You're gonna do me like that, huh? Well, easy way of doing this is to just trigger it that way. That'll work. Actually, I want to put one in here, so let's trigger it that way. I can put something in there later. And let's make sure that everything else is triggered. Um, can do something like this. Yeah, now they're starting to grow. See? There they all. There they all come in. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Keep an eye on what they want. They want more people, some commercial, not so much industry right now. We're taking care of that over yonder. And I think, unless I miss my guess terribly, we can see them not going over there to work. Some people are, I guess, working here. I guess they're not actually using the monorail, though. I'm not really sure if it's connected properly on the other side or if there's a puzzle piece that's needed. I'm going to have to worry about that a little bit. I hope that no one would want to go out there and work. All right, so let's see, we've got that going, we've got these people coming in. Uh, we don't care about the streets being endangered. We will go ahead and keep zoning out a little bit though. And just for the sake of getting everybody building in here as I want them to, I'm going to make sure that these are actually a bit more like that. And by that, I mean I'm literally gonna go throop, throop, bloop, bloop, bloop. That way they're all nicely shaped. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I want that across the way too. So we've got three there. Uh, I want that to be in there. That'll connect out, I think. I would love to have one here, but I don't think it's going to work. I will play it and find out though. And now that we have this here, we can see I made a mistake, but we don't make mistakes in this game. We make happy little accents, so we will turn that into something cool. Uh, this area is probably going to be some trees. And I feel that we need another thing to just come along and sort of go up here, maybe. This one's zoning in, so we'll do another three. And maybe zoning a little bit something like this, just, just to turn it and make this an area that we can develop. So we're going to go over here and immediately get ourselves a nice little turn. I almost said current, I don't know why. We can see that fits pretty well, so we're going to use that there, just as a sort of end to this area. Because all we're looking for is a small little area here, and that's about all I'm looking for. Something a bit like this. I might do something more into here, I don't know. I just want a little bit of a smaller area before I begin the big guys. The biggins. If you know what I mean. And I hope you don't, because that sounded really perverted. Okay, there we go. Stagger these guys on out. They're gonna look really, really strange on this terrain. I'm not even sure if I can get that there. Ooh, let's end that one. Okay. So we've got this kind of here. And just for the sake of not having it look all... Yeah, this one. Let's have it not looking quite like that. Let's let's have this kind of turn. Nah, it won't fit. Maybe we can't. I guess we can't. Ooh. 
We can do that for no reason, though. And we'll do it. We'll do that for no reason whatsoever. And... Yeah, let's make the connection. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but we'll make the connection. And now, in true neighborhood fashion, I want to keep this... That's weird. The grass changed the minute I did that. You see that? That was... I don't get this terrain mod, man. May have to get me another one. I'm not understanding all of these newfangled advancements. So back to back because we can't do it here, so it has to be back to back. And we're just gonna fill in something. Maybe, maybe there's an end of the street here. Maybe this is an actual little. Duh. See, and then it changed again. That's so weird. Why is it doing that? I don't know. And there it goes, changing again. What goes down here? You can change again? No? I don't know. Spread it down there. Um, I have no idea what this is going to do, so we're going to do it for the lols. Because everything you do should be for the lols. So we've got an actual... Oh! Oh, there we go. Got an actual little guy here. Oops, not that one, not that one. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. Those two came in. So it looks like these things are actually going to work. How interesting is that? Does it have like a little support structure because of it? No, it just it's just lower. That's so cool. That is so cool. This mod is completely friendly with that. It looks kind of strange. Uh, it looks like they're driving literally on this weird slanted structure, but the houses, you know, they just appear there. We'll watch it do, we'll watch it do this too. Let's watch this one come in. Cause yeah, you can see they go downhill and then they appear on there. So this, these housing mods are really friendly for terrain, which a lot of mods aren't. It would look odd or it wouldn't let you, you know, build that in at all etc 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 but yeah here we're good here we're good which way are we supposed to turn this thing yeah that way there we go and then we can uh, yeah this one yeah 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 there we go because you're coming in and you're coming in now we are gonna have to make sure that these guys have access to a bus at the very least so they can get over here where there's no bus station because that would make perfect sense so let's make sure that they can get over there we're getting a huge agricultural demand because we have no education in this city. Let's actually do that first before we start setting everything in. Um, now, in terms of schools, I don't have an Asian school ready for this. It's part of the reason why I'm doing this now. While I keep hunting for more uh, mods, right? I want to try and find something that works a little bit better uh, for this. I don't want to use a Japanese, I don't want to use a Japanese, I'd like to use either a Korean, which I'm probably not going to have access to, because again, I don't have access to all of the mods on this site, and I'm sure somewhere over there is probably a school, because these Koreans are really great at these mods. I love the, some of the detail on these things. I have to change my mayor's house as well. What was I doing? I was giving them a school, that's what I was doing. Alright, so let's get a school up in here. Elementary covers just about everything, and you can see that there is a nice, perfect place for that to fit in. We have a lot of money, so I'm not going to worry about if we can afford this or not. I'm just going to go and place it. Uh, it's the same with PD. We don't really have a place for that either, unfortunately. And one thing that I might do is I might install a mod to increase this radius to the max. It doesn't really make sense that a police station would only have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, what, six blocks, and that's it? I mean, I can understand that in a large town, but in a rural, it's just not rural friendly, is it? These more rural areas are just... are just SOL. And 
And if you're wondering what that stands for, it's shit out of luck. <laughs> Back in the day, my mom used to say that constantly. As if, I, as if, you know, me and my brother were too stupid to know what the hell that stood for. It's like, no, don't, just go ahead and swear. I mean, putting the swear word in my head does not make it any less bad, you know? So, just go ahead and say it. These guys aren't really cooperating with us over here. Let's go ahead and uh, retouch them up a little bit. Because we do by threes, and if we can't... Oh, we can't. We'll have to wait for that one, then. Let's touch this one up as well. That does not go there. Maybe it does go there. Who am I to say the building doesn't go there? If it wants to go there, it obviously goes there. And now it goes there. That one came in pretty quick. There we go. So, as uh, similar to our Japanese town, it starts off largely like this, right? But it will, in fact, it change up for different uh, housing as we give them more and more things to like. Now, I am noticing quite immediately here that none of this seems to be developing, which tells me that the mods are either... Uh, it tells me that the mods are probably a higher density or a higher stage than I currently have unlocked. I'm gonna see if any of those come up, because I've got two, I've got two, and let's get a three over here somewhere. Yeah, let's do a three here, and maybe a four right next to it, just to see if anything uh, develops there at all. And double check, they've got uh, water, they do. A little bit of a manufacturing demand, but mostly commercial we need, to get, we need to deal with. Mostly that commercial demand. So before I do anything else and switch over and bleed off the slight manufacturing demand that we have, we've only got a thousand people right now. I'm going to go down here and get my buses to ensure that they can get from point A to point B without clogging up our lovely little streets too much. And there we go. I want the actual presence of a physical bus stop in my city. So I think it just adds for, you know, some, some variety. I'm gonna give a bus stop over here. There we go. Uh, let's see, so there's a bus stop there and there. We need one here, so we might as well put it here instead, because that makes sense. And by makes sense, I mean doesn't. And they are having trouble finding jobs. What are they? High wealth. Not surprising in the least, because we, yeah, see, we haven't catered to any of this yet. So how can they possibly have a job? So they're gonna have to suffer for a little while, and I'm deeply sorry about that. On the bright side, they won't remember that they've suffered after I give them what they're looking for. Give me what I want, and I'll go away. Who said that? Who said that? You guys know who said that? I hope you do. Alright, I think we're pretty much good with, you know, some. Some of the more out there ones can hop on bus stops every once in a while, keep people a little bit off our streets. In the meantime, is there anything that we can do until we do unlock the self Son of a fuck! I guess that does replicate Korea for you. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Look at them all. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Alright, any other smaller people we can put in here? Uh, China restaurant, I'm pretty, this is a Korean building. A China restaurant in Korea, in South Korea. Yeah, you can tell from the... Ah, that's interesting. What are you, though? Ah, balls. Well, that just got rid of that. Or wait. Those are services. Are you all services? I think you're all services. I really can't tell, unfortunately. 
So let's just keep guessing. Uh, DVD books. DVD books are good. What are you? Please, for the love of Christ, don't be services. You're definitely services. Uh, are any of you not services? No, the hotel. You're large. You're large. You're not in this area. Hmm. Yeah, see, things like this don't really belong here yet, do they? They look kind of weird to have a larger building like this uh, in this particular area. I don't want to break what I've got running here, but I might have to. Yeah, these don't really these don't really fit right now. Hmm. I can't just spam Converse shops and the like. We may have to open up some access. Nine. Digital Labs. What the frack are you? You kind of fit. I don't get the. You're for an odd little area. Can we make you fit? If I do this, I want fit. And then you can go here. And then diagonal into. Ah, I can't see where it would diagonal into. I want to put this in because it's so unique. But I don't see a place for a diagonal building. We'll have to keep our eye on that guy. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Diagonal, Family Mart Diagonal version 2. Same thing, SC4 Labs. Ah, such attention to detail. Uh, HK Pawn Shop? Well, I guess a pawn shop might work in here. Would make sense that they would need a pawn shop. And they're low well. So either they're this. Or that's all they could possibly be, yeah. Mm, but I can't just spam pawn shops all over the place. I don't know what kind of city you think I'm running here. Alright, we're going to have to let in... Uh... We will, in fact, have to let in some people. 